Hi everyone, I hope you're well and welcome to my first Great British Pub Quiz. Uh, this pub quiz has four rounds, there are 50 questions and all of the questions are about the UK. So I do another uh, five round pub quiz where the questions are quite internationally friendly, uh, best of my ability anyway. And this one, so you really need to be from the UK or have some knowledge of the UK to sort of play and score well. But I try to make the questions interesting, so even if you're not, uh, maybe you could play along, learn a few new things, and have some fun as you go. So the way this quiz is gonna work, I'm gonna do one every two weeks to begin with, see how it goes, and if enough people like it, I will absolutely continue to do it. And if lots of people like it, I'll probably make it a once a week thing. So we'll start off this quiz by looking at the four rounds we're gonna do. Okay, round one is a picture round, round two is a Harry Potter round, round three is an entertainment round, and round four is a general knowledge round. I will give you answers after round two, after round three, and after the final round. So uh, round two is always gonna be a request round in this quiz. So if there's something you'd like to see, please tell me in the comments, and I'll go through them, and either there's something that's had uh, more than one request, and I will put that in, or I'll just pick one that I think would work the best. Uh, I had tons of requests for Harry Potter on my other quiz, so it seemed like a good way to start. Anyway, the only stipulation with that, it does have to be UK-ish based. So anyway, I do hope you enjoy, and best of luck. Okay, round one is a picture round. There are 10 pictures of famous people or places, etc., and you'll have 13 seconds for each. Number one, can you name this TV star from this picture of when they were young? Number two, can you get the song title from this picture of the music video? Number three, name the retired sports star. Number four, <laughs> name the non-human in this picture. Number five, which company has this logo? Number six, name the TV show. Number seven, name the year. Number eight, name the former Prime Minister. Number nine, which public figure have I warped? And the last one, number 10, name the ship. Some are multiple choice, some are not. Uh, I have never seen a Harry Potter in my life, so this was a uh, uh, not a tough one to do, but um, it was an eye-opener anyway. I learned a few new things as I went along. So anyway, I do hope you enjoy and good luck.
Okay, the answers for round one, the picture rounds. Uh, the first one, this TV star from when they were young, it's Nicholas Lindhurst. Well done if you got that one. Number two, the song. The song is Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Bikini. We have Timmy Mallet. Uh, number three, the retired sports star is Sharon Davis. Number four, the non-human is Orville. Number five, the company. The company is BP. Number six, the TV show is Red Dwarf. Number seven, name the year. A nice easy one, it's 1966. Number eight, the former Prime Minister is Edward Heath, uh, better known as Ted Heath. Number nine, the public figure that I warped is Nigel Farage. And the last one, number 10, did you get the name of the ship? It's HMS Belfast. Okay, the answers for the Harry Potter round. Number one, what is the name of Harry Potter's pet owl? It's called Hedwig. Hedwig, sorry. Number two, Ollivander's is a shop that sells which items? It sells wands. Number three, which actor played Ron, Ron Weasley's pet rat when he became a human? That was played by Timothy Spall. Sorry, Timothy Spall. Don't know why I said it like that. Uh, number four. Which Hogwarts house did Harry Potter belong to? He was in Gryffindor. Number five. What spell would you use to open a door? It's Alamora. Number six. The first Harry Potter film was released in what year? That was in 2001. Number seven, who gave Harry Potter his scar? That was Lord Voldemort. Number eight, how much does a ride cost, a ride on the night bus cost? It cost 11 sickles. Not sure what a sickle is. And number nine, who told Harry he's a wizard? That was Hagrid. And number 10, the only one that I knew. What is the term for people born without magical abilities? They're called a muggle. Okay, round three is the entertainment round. There are 11 questions in total. The first 10 are worth one point each. Question 11 is worth up to five points. I'll explain that when we get there. So you have 15 seconds for each one, up to 10. And I say question 11, you'll have much longer for that. So I do hope you enjoy and good luck.
OK, now for question 11. This question is worth up to five points. Name the five carry-on films that have a title ending in ING. The five carry-on films that titles end in ING. Uh, you have 60 seconds to pick, to pick your five. Best of luck. So the answers for round three, the entertainment round. Number one, what is a best-selling single in the UK for the band Queen? That is Bohemian Rhapsody. Number two, fictional character Alan Partridge is from which city? He's from Norwich. Number three, who had a number one in hit in 1971 with Ernie? That was Benny Hill. Number four, Ponty Panty is a fictional village in which children's cartoon? It's got to be the most dangerous place to live in the UK. It is Fireman Sam. Number five, what was the name of the shopkeeper played by Ronnie Barker in Open All Hours? That is Arkwright. Number six, uh, BBC's Blue Planet was released in which year? Remember, you could be two years above or below. So it was released in 2001. So anywhere between 1999 to 2003, give yourself the point. And number seven, which English actress played Belle in Beauty and the Beast? That is Emma Watson, carrying on the Harry Potter theme. Uh, number eight, oh, that's a good one. Who's the only non-human member of the Magic Circle? That is Sooty. Number nine, Lewis Capaldi's had a 2023 number one, sharing its name with which UK quiz show? It's Pointless. And the last, uh, not last one, number 10, sorry. Uh, which of these films was released the earliest? It was or is Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. So now on to number 11, the five carry-on films that title end in ING. Very, very good if you got these. It is Carry On Camping, Screaming, Loving, Cruising and Spying. Okay, round four is the general knowledge round. It's the same format as a previous round. So there are 11 questions. Uh, questions one to 10 are worth one point each with question 11 being worth for up to five points. So for the first 10 questions, you will have 14 seconds for each one and a little bit longer on the last one. So question one in round four, what is the only town in the UK to have an exclamation mark as part of its name? Number two, what did Thomas Blood famously attempt to steal in May 1671? Number three, as well as a children's TV programme, the Blue Peter is a maritime signalling flag. What does it signify when flown? A ship is ready to leave port or to warn other ships there are pirates nearby? Number four, what is the longest river in Scotland? Number five, who founded the company Amstrad in 1968? Number six, who is the only footballer in the UK to have an international airport named after them? Number seven, 
Number seven. Which poet wrote the rhyme of the ancient mariner? Number eight. Who was the first British monarch to be photographed? Number nine. Who was the first and only Welshman to hold the office of Prime Minister? Number 10. Approximately, as the crow flies, what is the distance between Land's End and John O'Groats? 603 miles or 803 miles? And the last one, number 11, this one is worth up to five points. By number of passengers, name the five busiest airports in the UK. And you have 30 seconds to make your choices. So the answers for round four, number one, what is the only town in the UK to have an exclamation mark as part of its name? That is Westwood Ho. Number two, what did Thomas Blood famously attempt to steal in 1671? It was the Crown Jewels. Number three, oh, the Blue Beta Maritime Signaling Flag signifies when a ship is ready to leave port. Number four, what is the longest river in Scotland? That's the River Tay. Number five, who founded the company Amstrad in 1968? That is Alan Sugar. Number six, who is the only footballer in the UK to have an international airport named after them? It's George Best. Number seven, which poet wrote the rhyme of the ancient mariner? That was Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Number eight, who was the first British monarch to be photographed? The answer is Queen Victoria. Number nine, who was the first and only Welshman to hold the office of Prime Minister? David Lloyd George. Number 10, uh, as a crow flies, what's the distance, distance between Land's End and John O'Groats? Well done if you said 603 miles. So number 11, this one worth up to five points, one point for each quick one, by number of passengers named the five busiest airports in the UK, in any order. So the answers are Heathrow, Gatwick, Manchester, Stansted and Luton. Very, very good job if you got all of those. Okay, that's the end of the quiz. Thank you for playing my first one. I do hope you enjoyed it. Um, any feedback that you have, anything you think I could do better or any rounds you want to see, please tell me in the comments. Also, comment your score. Let me know how you got on. I won't be doing a leaderboard like I do in my other pub quiz, but I will be doing some, something different. We're putting people into categories so everybody who comments gets a mention and I guess the higher you score, the, the maybe the better a category you go in. So, um, But everybody will, um, will not get a mention, but their name will certainly come up and that will be done at the end of the quiz. Anyway, thank you again for playing. Have a lovely evening and bye-bye.